I am back and today guys we are exploring this beautiful piece of property here in the Scottish countryside with permission might add anyway guys sit back relax and enjoy the explore there's some interesting things to see Well guys, this was once the Irish travelling people's home. This is absolutely fascinating to see. <coughs> the owner of this property has very kindly allowed us access to look around his grounds and the buildings <coughs> got this very detailed nice little chair a beautiful old uh, stained glass window Cutlery still in the cutlery drawer. There's an old gin keg. It's a very own little tap on the side. Here's another one of those very nice chairs. Very finely detailed. Oh, and another two. So there's four all together by the looks of it. There's still the clothes hanging there on the hooks. Well, in the candelabra. This is the traveller's master bedroom. Very detailed uh, throw. It's lovely as well. And look how this whole place would have been wooden panelled inside. Almost like uh, something you would expect for the, the queen of the travellers to, to live in. And a nice big viewing window at the front. You can still smell the perfume for these drawers. Oh my god, there's a toilet. Holy crap, quite literally. Even a very nice detailed, expensive rug. 
I love the old, uh, I love the old metal framework of the bed. You don't see that very often now. I mean, that to me, that's that could be anything for the Victorian period up to the 1930s. Lovely uh, chest of drawers there as well. And even this fine piece on this side. Very nice indeed. Well, it's not every day you get a look inside a traveller's home, especially not an abandoned one. This date back this dates back to this dates back to at least the nineteen fifties. And some of the pieces in here, furniture and likewise are much earlier. Some nice artwork there as well. Well, wait till you see what's outside. It's this lovely old XGS Jaguar. Look at that. That's amazing looking. Totally epic. Another little traveller's trailer. Let's have a wee look inside this one. This one's definitely a bit worse for wear. The roof's actually starting to collapse. Beveling in there. There's still an old chair sitting at the side. But the uh, floor is quite deteriorated. Still very nice to see. Very nice. Now guys, this is a, a galloping track for horses. You can see how it circles its way around here. You get one far side of it. And it goes right round just the same as a car race track. Same kind of shape, standard shape. For the horses to go right round. So let's take a wee look round a bit. So I'd be a liar if I said I know I knew a lot about horses, but I'm assuming this is a 
where they would come and train the horses for shows like show jumping all those kind of things or simply racing some sort of viewpoint here maybe for taking shelter on a rainy day I do not know and there's just a, a couple of storage containers what have you up there look at the size of these leaves holy moly that's humongous ok there's uh, some more structures here this here has also had a this here also has a wildlife kind of pond lovely been some sort of office area for whatever it was that we're doing here it's all the way roofs collapsed well in inside oh here's a deer a baby deer baby deer he's trying to jump over the hairs fence in there it's biting off me and it can chew Guys, well, I hope you've seen that there. Yes, It's good to see. So I'm assuming that was possibly an area for animals. Kennels. Back off, it's freaking out. I think we're blocking. It's probably went in right there, at that gate, and it doesn't know another way out. So that is kennels. And I have no idea what this structure was, but they are all the disused lampposts that have been formed into a rectangle for what purpose I don't know I think they were probably going to use them to stabilise a roof or maybe they did indeed at one time just no longer there's a house over the back there so I'll stay away from there because it's occupied We are just roaming around trying to find other structures here But thanks to the very kind permission of the, the landowner We are able to do that Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that one, but until next time, this is Pajerico, signing off.
here we are again, deep inside the Scottish countryside and another long trek and I've had my fair share of those lately and there is Urbex Bikers who is exploring with me today so this structure that you see before you is another lime kiln only compared to the last one I explored this one is tiny in relation to that As you can see from the colour of the leaves, it is getting much colder here as the winter approaches. Now that's going to be a tight squeeze. Oh my god. Right, that's the hard bit then. Here's a wee look inside that chamber And all of this here That you see piled up Is broken away from there Right above the kiln So Let's get over these boulders There's really no much support here as you can see And these are big chunks of stone that you do not want to move beneath your feet oh. You getting there? I think he just lost his shoe Something on that ends. It was a spider. This is quite remote. Quite a remote place to have a a line killing. But we'll see if we can cut our way through here and give you a look at the other chamber. Oh. Hopefully, it's cold enough for all the ticks to be gone. Oh my god. This is not easy underfoot. These are stinging nettles. Oh Jesus. Why am I doing this? Oh. oh! It's just crumbling beneath my feet here. The deal's disappeared. This is dodgy as hell. Footstep is treacherous. I'm walking on the remains of a fallen tree, which is completely rotten. Very slippy and wet. Where did you go down? Just here. Hmm. 
wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't something to hang on to. Oh my god. Oh. Oh Jesus, that one's ready to go as well. That's all protruding there. I don't trust that at all. Not after seeing what happened to the last side. But it's just a, a wall chamber goes into the left there. I don't like that, the way that tree's grown out of the wall. I'm not, want to share, I'm not sure I want to risk going any further, to be honest. Damn things. Uh, spiders on my feet and everything. I'm not coming any full of deal. <coughs> anyway, we've got to look at it. Deal's a wee deep inside the bush there. But I don't envy them. I don't want to go up there. I've seen enough. And I mean, I can go along and look at the other couple of chambers, but they'll just be virtually mirror images of what we're seeing here. Anyway, it was a nice wee hike here, long as it was, still good to come and see it. And now it's time to head back out. Hope you enjoyed your wee look at that one guys. I wasn't the, uh, I wasn't the kind of comfy going under that, that's ready to go like that first thing. Is it aye? I didn't, didn't, aye, I didn't fancy it. Right, back here this way. I do not like this. It's like bloody. Yeah. I'm sure the ticks are dead beneath. Yeah. I'm standing over there, I had like loads of spiders crawling around my trainers. Hi. 
<laughs> Seeing you can feel his ribs crushing. <laughs> oh. No, oh, that was ticked. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed your wee look at that one. And until next time, this is Jericho signing off.